Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Hey, Rachel Crow, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being on the Valder BB show. I wanted to talk with you if you had a moment to just talk about the home adventures of Pip and O. Quite interesting. Yes, your background course. is quite interesting. You've been a star for quite a while. Um, I guess so. That's kind of crazy to think. I know, because you're only, what, 18? How old are you, if I could ask? Yep, I'm 18. It's kind of weird being an adult. I don't know how to feel about it. I know, and you, you, well, you came on the scene when you were so young and, 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 and youthful, and you're still young and youthful, but you started out very early. Tell me about how it is to be in the limelight quite a while, and then tell me about Tip and O. Uh, it's really cool. It's cool to be able to share what I love with other people and just sort of be myself uh, and have a great time doing what I love. Um, and also to be a voice of Tip, who is just the coolest girl ever. She's super empowered and strong, and she doesn't take no for an answer, and she does whatever she wants, and um, she's just a really, really awesome person, and I'm really honored to be able to be her. Well, thank you so much for saying that, because I believe that it's never been a better time to be a woman on planet Earth than it is today. <laughs> and then right? Girl week, power. And then this week we had Hillary Clinton. This is not about politics. This is about being a woman, the first mm -hmm. woman who received the nomination from a major party, the first woman who may become president, and she said something that was so life-changing, and it's for young women like you, that you could be the next president. Right? It's so powerful and amazing, and I think, yeah, you're right, there is no better time to be a woman uh, in the world right now. That's right. So you get to voice this character. You get to uh, be a voice for young women who are coming into their own. Tell me how that makes you feel, or do you even think about that? Yeah, I definitely think about that. I am very much um, about being a really strong, cool girl uh, and being an empowered woman. I think Tip is such a dynamic character. She really brings that to the table because you know, while she's empowered and always, you know, talking and being herself and being really strong, she at the same time sort of has these vulnerable moments where she's very real and she apologizes for, you know, making mistakes and she loves her best friend and would do anything for anyone because she's just that person. So she's a really, really, you know, dynamic, awesome, you know, young girl. And I think it's cool for young girls to be able to watch her and sort of relate to her in that way and, you know, take little parts of her personality and relate to that within themselves. I want to remind my audience that I'm speaking with Rachel Crow today. We're talking about The Adventures of Tip and O. It's an all-new Netflix original series. Let me ask you, you, um, you didn't have to step into anybody's shoes. You get to be the original in something. Now, where do you see your, your, your character going? Um, I think Tip pretty much will go wherever she wants. Um, I do know that she has a lot of little aspects of my personality, and she loves getting into different adventures, and she gets into trouble, so who knows where she'll go next. But uh, I can tell you that she definitely, you know, gets to grow with the audience that's watching her. Um, and they're both uh, sort of learning as this show goes on and she gets into more trouble and um, I think, I don't know, Tip, Tip's definitely, she's going places, that's for sure. <laughs> now, Tip and O has also been a, um, uh, uh, a feature film, correct? Yes. 
And that's how it started off. Now it's turned into a Netflix series. Yes. Now, when you're in this, this social media craze, what are people, do you look at what people are saying out there about social media? Because, you know, time we go see a movie, we come home or we text at the movies now. Right, yeah. Um, I don't know. I think home has definitely uh, been a huge part of social media. Um, it's really crazy to be scrolling through my timeline on Twitter and see my show pop up and hear my the theme song that I wrote pop up. Um, and I think, you know, young kids and even kids my age are, are like tweeting me that they love the show idea and that they're really excited to see it. And it's really cool for me because I've been working on this for such a long time. So to finally see it happen and start to come out, like it's insane for me. And it's such a great experience. Like I am just rolling. And uh, I've been saying that I'm totally going to binge watch my own show on Netflix when it comes out on Friday. And I have <laughs> no shame, no shame whatsoever. <laughs> You are so young and so so un, unspoiled by fame. I love the way you <laughs> act honestly about what you're doing. But when you do good things in the light, I think you can stand confidently like I see you and your character. And I want to ask you one last question. In an age where kids are so swayed by what they see on the screen, um, do you feel empowered? Because your character is powerful. Yeah, my character is definitely powerful. And I feel like she's very relatable and real. And she is sort of the girl next door. She's, um, you know, today's girl for sure, like we were talking about. Uh, so I think it's really important when when kids are watching her um, just to, like, realize, like, that she is them. Like, she is going through life like them. She is learning life lessons like them. She's getting into trouble like them. She's making mistakes. She has a best friend that she loves. She would do anything for anyone. Like, she's a really, really special person. And I think um, that really comes across. And I think, you know, through social media, kids will see that. Like, when they're watching the show on Netflix, like, they'll just sort of see themselves saying things like Tip says and sort of taking on her, you know, uh, mannerisms, just just like you know you would on you know your favorite character on a live action TV show. She's very real, um, and she's very you know she's very in your face. And like you were saying, you know, being an empowered woman uh, today is really cool, and she definitely is. Well, you're cool, also, Rachel Crow. I know mm, on the twenty ninth we're going to be able to watch all the fun, and you want us to watch it where on Netflix. Yes, watch it on Netflix, please. Binge watch with me. I will be doing that for sure. <laughs> All right, then. Well, we'll be tweeting you. How about that? We, we're going to just please. Really say, look, hey, I heard you on the Valder BB show, and we are loving what you're doing with Tip and O. Thank you so much, Rachel. And thank you for thank being you. Such a, just a wonderful star. I look for great things from you. Thank you so much. That means a lot. Thank you.